We are a club that does historical European martial arts. Basically, we sword fight. <laughs> historical European martial arts is an attempt to recreate the uh, martial arts that existed in Europe, really from the Middle Ages right up to the 19th century. We teach a wide range of weapons. We teach longsword, uh, 15th century Italian longsword. We teach rapier. We teach small sword. We teach saber. We have top sword and buckler, um, and we teach having fun with your friends. One of the things that distinguishes us from like sports fencing most people know is that we use historical manuscripts. So these are written by people at the time, usually for their students. Um, so what we do is not reenactment, but it is close to what they would have done in those days, but obviously in a more modern, martial setting with safety equipment. We do a little bit of a warm up, then we go through to some exercises where we look at the text, bring that through into interpretation. And then at the end, we really do the sparring where we look at putting these plays together in a sort of um, competitive and combative context. And that's, that's my favorite part. We attend a wide variety of events, uh, be they just small workshops based around London to bigger events in other countries. And we do a lot of tournament fighting and a lot of teaching at these things now. If there is an event, LHFC are probably there and probably making a riotous noise in the background. We really, really welcome anyone that is interested and wants to come along and try this interesting and a little bit weird and eccentric sport. We make a special effort to be as welcoming and as accommodating as possible. One of the best things I think we've done as a club is we've really worked on inclusivity. It's for everyone. The focus of it has been on building an inclusive base of people. That's, that's been absolutely fantastic. And it's a part of the club that I'm really proud to be a part of. And sometimes it's a bit intimidating to get into a new place, new people, new sport, but they making that their front page. We are welcoming you. I thought, well, what can we do? We do everything to make sure it's inclusive and fun for as much people as possible and just make it the best team experience possible, I think. Everyone here is so friendly and really respectful. It's just a lot of good fun. It's a really good mix. The expertise of all of the instructors is absolutely fantastic. You learn so much from everyone. And yeah, it's just overall a great place to be. Who doesn't like sword fighting? Just making new friends and hitting them with swords, it's the best. We're a members run club and there aren't very many of those in the human community. We're run by a committee voted for by the members and everyone really participates in making this club work. Having a more collaborative approach means that we can um, do things quicker, better, and we have complete transparency. Really, I think LHFC could be the place to come uh, for HEMA in London if we have the opportunity to grow in that way. But if we want to get bigger, and have more people and have more options to do bigger, better things, we need more space to do that. All of our classes are full. We have uh, people asking on a daily basis and we have to turn them away sometimes. Basically, we have more people wanting to fence than we can possibly teach right now with the space that we currently got. Our goal is to have a venue of our own where we can continue to grow the club, continue to invite people to come and join us, to come and fight with us. Not only would we be able to run more classes of our own, we could open up the space to other clubs in London, other instructors in London. This would not only mean that our club goes, HEMA as a discipline is put on a more sustainable footing for the future. They are to a person, kind, loving people. And the fact that we get to be kind and loving and hit each other with metal sticks is absolutely a wonderful thing. There are people here who are great friends. There are people here who I can rely on in the middle of the night if I need a cup of tea. It's been so good, in fact. I've actually met my fiance through fencing uh, and I, I can't thank the club enough for that. I made so many good friends here. Um, it's, it's in my blood now. I could never leave. <laughs> I'm stuck for life. <laughs>